Hi guys, I'm delighted to be joined by Matt from Kookaburra. Matt and myself have been working together now for over 18 years, um, so we know each other really well, but what we don't know uh, and what we're looking forward to looking at is the 2024 range. So Matt, um, we'll start with bats. Yes. Um, yep. We're going to start probably up at this top end. Um, bats that have probably been in the range previously, but have got yep. a couple of tweaks. Yes. Talk us through what we're, what we're looking at for 2024. Yeah, of course. Uh, so starting off Kahuna, um, just had a bit of a re revamp uh, this year in terms of the graphics, but essentially, I mean, it's been in the range now for best part of 20 years, so dating right back to beginning of 2001, 2002. Um, same shape, same profile as last year. Um, so what stands that, well, Kahuna, is, well, why the reason it's different, the spine goes all the way down to the toe mm -hmm. on the Kahunas. Um, but yeah, two pound eight to two pound 10 is your weight range. Um, so no change there. Um, so yeah, it goes again. You will continue to be used by Joss Butler. Um, he's, been, he's been using that now for a number of years. Um, the Kahuna is probably the Kookaburra classic of all it is, time. It right? is. Yeah. I mean, you say design. With, I think Ricky Ponting was involved in the original. He was. Design going he was. Yeah. Back. So he was the first sort of high-profile player to use it. It's been used by AB de Villiers as well. That um, that will always be popular, I think, and, yeah. and it's iconic, probably for Kookaburra in its range. It is. It I is. can see why it's still in there. It, yes. it, it sells really well. Um, if you're ever in doubt, you, it's always the safe option as well. So. Absolutely, and I think a lot of time it's a repeat purchase, so people have had a Kahuna. Yeah, they know it, and you know uh, they just go back to it. And, uh, yeah. So I guess similar would be uh, the Ghost. Also been in the range for maybe eight, nine years now. Yes. Uh, we've yep. done um, a few bat reviews on this in the past too. Yes. Um, slightly graphically enhanced this year. Yeah. Again, just tweaks on the graphics, but uh, essentially again, it's your sort of classic white stickered, um, traditional looking bat. Um, very similar in shape to the Kahuna. Um, the only real difference is that that spine just tapers out towards the toe end. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, same as same as last year. And again, two pound eight to two pound ten is your weight range. New grip on there this year. That's the quilt grip. Um, but again, available in in various different grades across the ghost range. Okay. So depending on what your what your budget is, there is something for everyone. So, so that's probably two Kookaburra classics still in the range for 2024. Um, moving into some of the newer bats, uh, yeah. we've got the Aura here. This this again was in the range last year. Yeah, so it goes um, into its second second season for 2024. Nat Silver uses this, I think. She does. 23. She does. She yeah. had a good year. She did, absolutely. Um, I think she was voted Best female, England female cricketer again, wasn't she recently? And I think um, one of the highest paid players in the women's IPL. Yeah. Um, yes, and absolutely. delivered. So yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, happy with that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Aura for this year? So in terms of um, in terms of the colours, it's I would say it's a little bit brighter than last year. Um, okay. So in terms of the shape of the bat, um, just to sort of refresh on the shape, it's the same as last year, but it's a slightly bigger bowed bat. And again, the spine just tapers out. So you've got that duck bill toe, mm -hmm. um, which just helps with the pickup of the bat. In terms of the grip, um, we've put a new grip on there this year, so it's a see-through silicon grip. So feels nice and spongy in the hand, slightly thicker than a standard grip. And what that does, it just helps with the pickup of the bat. Um, so, but again, your weight range is 2.8 to 210. We get we get quite a lot of questions on on this silicone grip. I yeah. think people people really like it, but can't also understand necessarily why, if you no. don't mind revealing. I'm allowed to reveal some of the magic that obviously yeah. underneath the grip is where you see the the stickers part, but yes. the silicone yeah. grip is see-through, so that allows yeah. the colour contours to, exactly. to come through, which yeah. is a really good touch um, and one that works pretty well. Uh, lightweight bat? 2.8 to 2.10, so really kind of a standard weight, yeah. um, same as the Kahuna and the Ghost. But as I say, with the with the sort of combination of the duckbill toe and the silicon grip, probably picks up a little bit lighter than the Kahuna and the Ghost, I would say. Okay. Rapid. Yes. Quite light. The colours changed on this. It, yes, well spotted. Yeah, so last year it was, so this goes into its third season. Uh -huh. um, so last year it was, I would say, more yellow with a bit of blue trim. This year we've reversed that, so it's predominantly blue uh, with some yellow piping. We've got the darker black grip on there this year as well. I really like that. I think that looks really smart. Um, Rapid bat is your lightweight bat. Okay. Okay. So, um, in terms of the profile, won't be quite so big through this area as, as the other families. A little bit of scalloping away just there as well, and that's all about just trying to strip the weight down to more like two six to two eight mm -hmm. is your weight range. So it's ideal. For, I would say for the developing players, perhaps those teenagers that are moving into their first adult short handle bat, 
Um, even ladies as well, ladies and girls yeah. um, would be would be perfect. That's a good lightweight bat option. Yeah. To be fair, you, you mentioned slightly there's still big edges. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's still, not like it's not like 20 edges. years ago. Where, you know, no. with the thin edges, it's it's you know still a decent profile. So you're still going to get good performance out of that. But uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I like I like the sticker upgrade. I think. Yeah. It's, yes. Uh, so, a lot yeah. fresher. Yeah. Um, looks really good. Right. Exciting then. Uh, new, brand new for 2024. Yes, indeed. Um, new into the range and quite striking uh, is the stealth. Stealth indeed, yeah. yeah. So, um, I think the first observations from me before you uh, give us your two penneth on it is yeah. it looks a big bat. Yes. Um, it's probably compounded by the fact it has a shorter <laughs> blade length and longer handle. Yeah. About an inch shorter. Exactly right, yes. Yeah. So an inch shorter blade, inch longer handle. Which means that you can still get, and you can see it, I mean, it is huge. If I compare it yeah. next door there, look. There's a lot of wood there yep. uh, in that hitting zone. So this yeah. is probably, I would say, your biggest profile bat in the range. It, it would be, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Lots of lots of wood in there. So yeah. if someone that likes to go out and strike a big ball. Yeah, exactly right. It's your sort of typical probably, yeah. power profile, isn't it? So big, thick edges, um, no scalloping, so very sort of a full back. Um, so lots of wood through there. So ideal for the for the guys that just want to go and smash it, I suppose. Um, so it's very much a sort of 20, 2020 type 20, shape yeah. profile. Um, but yeah, so uh, Ben Folks is going to be using that. Okay. Uh, Jordan Cox will use that as well. Um, so yeah, that is new for 2024. Now, I, you're going to tell me if I'm wrong here, but I can't remember over the last 18 years seeing a Kookaburra bat pure one colour in, in a dark black. I've, I've always associated Kookaburra with colour, yeah. vibrancy, bright colours you can see in, yes. in here. I can't remember if you've ever done a pure we've, we've, black. You might be. I think we've done bat. black bats. I'm trying to cast my mind back mm. now as well. We've done black stickered bats in the past, but I think you're right. I think they've always had some sort of trip on them. Yeah. But that is, is entirely black. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I, mean, I think obviously there's still plenty of colour in there for people yeah. that want colour, um, but you've also got the black stickered bat, oh, you've got a white stickered bat. And, uh, we, we, we always say on these videos, don't choose your bats on the stickers. No. Um, so no. don't choose your bats no. on the stickers. However, I think that's quite striking. It is. In just, and, and, and within the range, it, it does stand out. Absolutely, um, yeah. As yes. a new one for 2024. So keep an eye out for the stealth in 2024. I think yes. that's going to do well. Yeah. Um, so talking about going back over the years. Mm. Uh, the next three, and I'm grouping them as, as three, we're yep. probably calling this almost the Kookaburra retro range. Are you happy yeah, with that? I Is guess it, so, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's... Um, we've got to start yeah. with the bubble. Um, Yes. You had this last year. We did have the bubble last year, so we did a retro bubble. So again, we've just um, developed the stickers. So this is going back to the real sort of retro bubble stickers on there. Um, if you recall, it's in terms of the shape of the bubble, it's yeah. got that swell from, from there to there in that sort of hitting so area. Um, the hex a grip on there. Um, two pound eight to two pound 10 is the weight range. And there is, there is a market for, um, for a sort of retro type bat. Perhaps will resonate more with the people that, that you know, had bubbles um, back in the day. And, uh, I imagine Alex Stewart bought a couple last year. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. He's, um, <laughs> I remember him famously using that. Yes. So that's the bubble. Um, brand new 2024 is the Ridgeback. Mm. Remember, uh, you remember that? Uh, I, <laughs> I remember it well. Yeah. I remember it well. I remember it so well because I actually had one um, and used one. I'm pretty sure my one, which would have been in the 90s, mm. uh, certainly had thinner edges than yes, this. Yes, it would have done. Um, the two ridges were probably more cut out, yep. but I think for the modern day game, this is probably a, yeah. a very good it's fit. A, it's a, absolutely, it's a replica of that ridgeback shape with the, with the ridges there, but obviously with yeah. more of a modern day shape, um, so the bigger edges. Um, but in terms of the stickering, it is the same as the, exactly as the ridgeback. Same. And I think the ridgeback is going back further than the bubble. Yeah. The ridgeback is more like sort of mid to late 90s. It is. Um, and was used by lots of high profile Aussies. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, no, I think that I was think great. if I'd had those edges in the 90s, I would have scored more oh, runs. I'm sure you would have done. That's definitely more <laughs> wood there. Okay, the final one. Um, the Kuna, the Kuna from 2005. 2005, yeah. 2005. So it just goes to show, doesn't it? The Kahuna has been around for that long that we've still yeah. got a, a, a new Kahuna in, but we've bought a, a retro Kahuna in as well. So yes, it dates back to 2005 Ashes. Um, was a big talking point back in back in that um, 
back in that Ashes series. Mm. So the back, it was a carbon sheet. Yep. Um, this is just a sticker, um, but yeah, it was a carbon sheet back in those days. It was used by Ricky Ponting. Um, but again, we've developed it, so it's got more of a modern day shape with the bigger edges. Um, will be the same shape as the, as the normal Kahuna um, and same weight range, so 28 to 210. Brilliant. Um, so 2024 20, <laughs> uh, Kookaburra back range, plenty of choice. Uh, plenty of options for everyone, I would say. Absolutely. Um, from your classics, your Kahuna and your Ghost, to things like the Stealth, which are new. Um, pads and gloves to go with the range. Yes, again, plenty of choice. Um, there will be six or seven price points um, in gloves and pads, but within every price point, um, every grade of pad and glove, there are different family choices. So, I don't know, if it was a 55 pound glove, you might get it in Ghost, you could get it in stealth, you could get it in rapid. So there's different options depending on how you want to sort of kit yourself out. So, so there's something for everyone in terms of if you want the full set, you've got yep. back pads and gloves to yes. go for a full range. Um, you've obviously do a, a full range of luggage and helmets Absolutely. and footwear. Yes, yeah. Um, so yep. that will complement it too. Yes. Um, yep. One of my final questions for you is, and, and you don't know what's coming here. <laughs> um, my final question is, uh, what what player should we, what professional player should we look out for in 2024 who's using your kit? Well, as I say, I mean, Kahuna, uh, Joss has been on the Kahuna now for, for a number of years. We'll continue to use that. Uh, Marnus Labashain will use the Ghost. Nat Siver, I'm sure, will continue to, to go in the sort of direction that she's going. Um, so I think she's num world number one all-rounder. Um, so she'll be using the Aura. Um, Rapid will be used by Hayley Matthews, West Indian captain. And then, as I said, the Stealth, the new one, uh, will be used by Ben Folks and Jordan Cox. Brilliant. Um, so we're going to get plenty of coverage across the core families. And out of those seven or eight professional players, mm. you just... Who, who uses the most bats? Who gets through the uh, most bats? <laughs> and how many? I need to be careful what I say here. Yeah. Um, look, I think you know they all get through a fair amount of bats these yeah. days, but I, I know um, Jordan Cox certainly uh, is, uh, gets through a fair amount of bats. Fair few. So, I'm, so I'm told. It, yeah, it, so I'm told. It's a, it's a question, one of the questions we always get asked is, uh, how long is my bat going to last? Mm. Now, it's a question you can never answer. No. Ultimately, <clears throat> it will come down to how many runs you score. Yeah, I mean, if, um, you're, if you're playing once a fortnight, club cricket on a Sunday and um, should last 10 years. Should, should last you plenty of time if, if you know if you're playing three or four times a week and you're netting regularly then it stands to reason it's not going to last uh, quite as long but uh, yeah yeah good well we look forward to seeing all those players in 2024 yes. using your kit um, thanks for coming down to, no to Sirius to look to, to show us the 2024 range um, if you've liked the video make sure you subscribe we've got plenty more videos uh, coming um, and I think you're even going to let us have the chance to actually yes. test these in, yep. in our net lanes to see how we get on. We're going to see you in action, Neil, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, thanks for your time. No uh, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you all soon.